Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. I've got an epic video for you guys. I'm doing a candle rewind 2020 versus 2021. I've got an entire desk full of candles. I did the body care yesterday. This was so much fun. It was so interesting to look at all the different jar styles. I'm going to tell you what I liked from last year, what's missing from this year, and talk about which which year is better? I actually have an opinion on this. I do. <laughs> so let's get started. Pumpkin Donut Shop. Last year, Pumpkin Donut Shop and Banana Walnut Muffin. Um, I don't have the Banana Walnut Muffin. I think I completely burned through last year's. Look at the difference. Last year versus this year. Oh my gosh. Last year, Pumpkin Donut Shop was amazing. It did have these kind of weird thin wicks though. Um, I burned through one of these. I kept one, uh, kind of as a little collectible, but I really like the labels on these. We also got, check this out, blueberry maple pancakes in that kind of farmhouse, uh, blackboard design. I actually don't mind the blueberry maple pancakes in this design, but last year's was so much better. These candles are very similar though. Um, no difference in the set. Blueberry Maple Pancakes is very stable uh, from year to year. Then we had Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin in this design. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin was last year. I love this design. Not bad this year. As far as the scent, I actually liked last year's a heck of a lot better. There's a weird clove note in Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin this year. It was a lot sweeter last year. I don't know. I did like it a lot better last year. I'm not sure what's going on with Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. It's kind of a Scooby-Doo mystery, like um, the pumpkin pie. <laughs> I have two more candles that I want to show you in this farmhouse collection. Oh my gosh, look at pumpkin pecan waffles. I actually have an unburned one left. Oh my gosh, so beautiful in the design. This year we got, oh my gosh, this one. I didn't mind it so much in the pumpkin pecan waffles. The apple pie one was dismal. And then we also got pumpkin pecan waffles uh, for Thanksgiving in the give thanks. So then we've got, check it out, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I didn't really like this year's. I thought it was kind of plain. Oh my gosh, look at the design on this one. Uh, the scent is the same. Love, I haven't reviewed this one. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Did I? No, I did review Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow this year. I'm like, did I review that one? It was so long ago. Okay, let me set these candles down, you guys. I got a lot of candles here. It's hard to maneuver a lot of candles on camera, by the way. <laughs> so then we're moving to... Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. This is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles for fall. Check out the difference. Last year's was gorgeous. This design was amazing. I don't like this. I don't like this one at all. I know it's a luminary, but this one was just weird for me. Um, the scent is pretty much the same year to year. I actually think this year's is a little bit stronger, believe it or not. Uh, when I was burning, I love uh, Caramel Pluck and Swirl. One of my favorite candles, but last year's design was so good. Okay, so what were we missing in that collection? Where is Pumpkin Peanut Brittle, you guys? I don't know why Bath & Body Works did not bring this candle back. This was a favorite for so many people. It is crunchy, caramel, brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds. It is fabulous. Out of this world, wonderful. I have one left. I really wish they had brought this one back next year, Bath & Body Works. We want to see pumpkin peanut brittle back. <laughs> pumpkin peanut brittle. Okay, so that was that collection. So then Bath & Body Works brought out, I like to call this the Charlie Brown collection. Pumpkin cookie dough did not come back. This was not a big winner with anyone, I don't think. It was homemade cookie dough, creamy pumpkin, cinnamon sugar, it was just kind of a little bland, not super strong throw. Um, no one went crazy over pumpkin um, cookie dough. Uh, the snickerdoodle one, pumpkin snickerdoodle, I don't have that one up here. That one was actually much better. So then 
We also had warm apple pie. Check it out. Warm apple pie. This was this Charlie Brown collection with a cute little fox. Oh my gosh, this year's was weird. <laughs> I don't know. I still haven't even burned this one yet. The scent is wonderful, but the blob of pie was just a little strange. So we also got the cool lids last year, by the way, um, on the what I call the Charlie Brown collection. How cute is this, though, with the little fox? I like the warm apple pie um, from last year. Okay, I'm going to set these down. Grab another tray here. <laughs> I'm just going through all of these. Okay. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Pumpkin pie. This was the pumpkin pie. I'm rewinding a little farther. I talked about this in my video the other day from like two years ago. This one smells amazing. It actually smells like pumpkin pie. We've got the gorgeous orange wax. Where did I even put my pumpkin pie, you guys? I think I lost it. <laughs> I probably lost it on purpose. <laughs> pumpkin pie was just not... It just wasn't good this year. Um... I burned it again, you guys, after I did the video, and I'm like, it just, it's not horrible. I get a lot of graham cracker, but there's just something odd about it. I really hope they fix pumpkin pie for next year and bring back our classic pumpkin pie. So a couple of others that are missing this year. Cinnamon Irish Cream. This one is fabulous, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love Cinnamon Irish Cream. We had this in the Charlie Brown collection last year wonderful scent. This one is actually cinnamon spiced liqueur, Irish cream, and French vanilla. Cinnamon Irish cream is missing. And Corn Lane is missing from fall this year. This was a favorite for a lot of people. Oh my gosh, really strong scent. Usually I don't like scents that are this strong. I love Egg Corn Lane. This one is autumn leaves, warm cinnamon, crisp gala apple. It is wonderful. It's like leaves and apple all mixed together. It is wonderful. So Edcorn Lane needs to come back next year. Another one that is missing is Cider Lane. This was a huge favorite for a lot of people. A few people have said it's Wicked Apple. It's not Wicked Apple. I don't believe it's Wicked Apple. So Cider Lane is warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. Wicked Apple is ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. These are completely different, you guys. Wicked apple is more of like a carnival apple, you know, on a stick, apple, caramel. I love wicked apple, don't get me wrong. Cider Lane is more of a farm stand. You go to the apple picking place, you smell the apples, and there's caramel mixed in. Cider Lane's completely different. We're definitely missing out on Cider Lane. I'm going to keep this one up here this year. I'm going to burn my last Cider Lane in hopes that it comes back next year because Cider Lane is fabulous. Um, blueberry Pie. Where's Blueberry Pie, you guys? This was such a popular candle. This was the White Barn version. And um, I have no idea where Blueberry Pie went. We didn't see it in August. We didn't see it in the fall. They need to bring back Blueberry Pie because this one is just one of the most popular candles that they have. I'm really surprised we didn't get blueberry pie back. Okay, what else do we have? Um, bourbon maple came back this year. Thankfully, bourbon maple is wonderful. It was in that brown jar last year. It was like a set of luminaries. They were all like um, brown shades. It was beautiful, beautiful jars. Um, bourbon maple, thankfully, is back. That is a wonderful one. Um, coconut macaroon we haven't seen lately. Coconut macaroon came out two years ago um, with the banana cream pie we had. Remember banana cream pie, PB&J? <laughs> we haven't seen any of those. Coconut macaroon is toasted coconut, fresh baked cookie, vanilla bean, touch of spice. This is not that cupcake one. This one's different. We had the toasted vanilla cupcake. Um, coconut macaroon is more cookie-like. This one was actually really good. So now, let's see what else. Oh, you know what else came back this year? Sugared Cherry Crisp. We just got this one back, and I actually like the new packaging so much better. This packaging is fabulous. Um, Charlie Brown version, both of them are really strong. 
I need to review the new one, but oh my gosh, it's good. Look at the red wax. So pretty. Definitely pick up Sugar Cherry Crisp, although it's different than the body care. Just know that. Um, heirloom, Honey Crisp Apple, I'm sorry. Heirloom Apple and Honey Crisp Apple are the same apple. Um, this was last year's. It's back. It's wonderful. Actually, Cider Lane is a little bit more Honey Crisp Apple with the caramel. Um, lemon Lavender Shortbread. I don't have the jar out here. It was that boring gray jar. It was like a test jar with the yellow label. Gosh, thank goodness they brought out lemon lavender shortbread this year. So now getting into this year a little bit more, I really feel like this year, despite the great labels we had last year, despite Ed Corn Lane, Cider Lane, were those both C Ed Corn Lane and Cider Lane? What is that? A corn lane and cider lane. I don't know why. <laughs> it just occurred to me that those were both lanes. <laughs> yeah, a corn lane, cider lane. <laughs> I don't know why I never put that together. <laughs> Obviously, those were wonderful to have. However, I feel like Bath and Body Works did a better job this year for a couple of reasons. Caramel brulee latte was a really nice addition to fall. This one smells fabulous. It is the Creamy Latte Sweet Caramel, a sprinkle of nutmeg. This kind of makes up for the um, Cinnamon Irish Cream. These are first cousins, but there's more caramel in the Caramel Brulee Latte. But if you like Cinnamon Irish Cream, get Caramel Brulee Latte. They're both absolutely um, wonderful. We also got... Oh, Pungin Bonfire is back from this year. Um, uh, back this year. I have it back here. I'm not going to pull that out. This is the jar. Can you guys see that? It's a really kind of um, kind of nondescript jar. It's just got a little label on it with some orange pumpkins. I like the jar this year. Um, last year's we had the gray, the gray jar, but Pumpkin Bonfire, thank goodness, came back this year because that was wonderful. Okay, couple of newbies. Actually, we got a lot of newbies this year. So um, if you kind of break down the fall candle lineup, it is actually really, really impressive in my opinion for five reasons, because I have five of them right here. Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun. Oh my gosh. This one I think is sold out online. Absolutely wonderful. Does not smell that good cold. It smells a little bit like Pumpkin Donut Shop cold. Once you light this one up, it's wonderful. It is warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, vanilla frosting. That frosting note comes out. This is a must-have for fall. Sweet kettle corn. Oh, my gosh. I burned this one multiple times. I need a backup of sweet kettle corn. This one is fabulous. You get the salt in there, the salt and the sugar of the kettle corn. Fabulous. Fall festival. I was thinking fall festival was going to be kind of a... Um, Kind of like a leafy scent. It is not leafy. It is fresh pumpkin, spiced cinnamon, sweet maple, almond butter. That almond butter scent is really strong in this one. It is out of this world. I absolutely love Fall Festival. And then we get Old Fashioned Cider Donut. Hello! Bath and Body Works did a good job this year. Old Fashioned Cider Donut is wonderful. This one is old fashioned cake donut, baked apple sprinkled with brown sugar, um, cinnamon. Wonderful. And the jars are perfect. It's funny because I think we got off to such a rocky start this year with those jars that nobody liked that everybody was kind of like, Oh, what are we doing for fall? But they really pulled it together with scents like old fashioned cider donut um, spiced cranberry toffee is wonderful for Thanksgiving. It's a little bit of an odd scent to mix cranberry and caramel, uh, but I like it. It's a good Thanksgiving scent. It's kind of heavy though. And then we got white pumpkin oak wood for those people that love those heavier fall scents. Um, fresh picked white pumpkin, smooth sandalwood, spiced pear. This one is wonderful and it's really strong. New this year. And then, of course, we got, um, oh, sugared pecan pie. I forgot to put this one in my came back. It was, I can't find my last year one. It was in that, um, it was like a black jar with white writing on it. Sugared pecan pie 
um, is really good. I still have to review this one, by the way. Gooey brown sugar filling, toasted pecans, homemade pie crust. Although I'll have to say, I think I like um, pumpkin cinnamon bun and old-fashioned cider donut better than sugared pecan pie. I'm just saying. I'm putting it out there that those two are really, really superior scents. So my overall take on fall 2021 is that despite the kind of um, wonky labels in the beginning, I think this is actually a better collection than we got in um, fall 2020. Um, there's a lot more new scents. I think um, the returning scents are as good, if not better, than they were last year. So overall, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking fall is a huge success. So far, Christmas is looking to be really good too. Um, I had just reviewed, um, a couple weeks ago, I got my hands on ice cranberry scone. Gosh, you guys, this one is fabulous. So I feel like Christmas is going to be shaping up um, to be really good too. But we're not done with fall yet. We still have all of October, all of November to enjoy these fall scents, and even into November and December. I mean, I enjoy fall scents all the way into January, actually. I mean, there's a lot of good ones here, especially if you like foodie candles. So anyway, um, we need a candle sale. We need a good candle sale. Um, I know Tina Marie had mentioned something about um, they were testing like an $18 candle sale price point. I have not heard anything about that yet. I don't know if it's a regional test, but yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Hopefully that does not happen <laughs> because even the $15.95 is like, whoa, we need like um, a buy two, get two candle sale where we can use a 20% off coupon. That's what I'm hoping for. So anyway, have an awesome day. I'll be back later. Bye-bye.